Park by Mini Sports Now as just a quick wiffle ball field that we put together and it's made for you to make it at home, not to be one of the best wiffle ball fields out there. Cheap, easy to make, just things you can find around the house is basically what makes up our park. So I guess we're going to start with the backstop and honestly this backstop is really good I think and you have the tape here that represents uh, the two different strike zones because you got the uh, max and chain strike zone is obviously going to be smaller than my strike zone it extends like two inches above theirs and uh, we have the bigger backstop behind the smaller backstop because a lot of times with the moving pitches especially they can uh, get away so that actually stops a lot of wild pitches which is really good we have um, well these are BP balls uh, We'll use them for batting practice. You can see they have the holes all the way around, which means they won't move as much. You can't really throw any curveballs or stuff like that with them. And then uh, we have the regulation balls is what we use for games. They have the uh, oval type holes on the one side and they have completely solid on the other. Um, they, these are good for throwing all sorts of moving pitches. And if you want to buy these, they come in usually just packs of three. They have wiffle written in big uh, orange lettering on the front. And so yeah, these are the ones you're gonna wanna get. They're the um, strongest by far. Uh, going to the bats, these two bats are basically the same. One had a hole in it, so we just taped it up. Um, these are the bats that we use for games. They're mildly sturdy they're not the best i won't say that but they're actually good for our park considering ours is more of a hitter park as you can see there we'll get to the dimensions later and such we have this is like for games this bat would be like our last resort because it's got a big crack right here but it's the same size as these two so if we needed to play a game those bats something was wrong with them or something we could use this one then if we were ever play with uh, either a home run derby we would use this bat or this bat really they're both bigger than those so we did use this bat last year uh, our park didn't look anything like it does now it was configured completely differently it was much more of a pitcher's park so we used a bigger bat but we think this one's a lot better all right guys let's go through our bases this is just basically, our bases you can just find anywhere. This is from some sort of game. And it works perfectly as a home plate as it lines up with our strike zone. And that's how we made our strike zone. And let's go down the first baseline. In our games, we don't really, we don't run out the pitches. So the bases really don't matter. They're just an indication of where uh, they should go. As we continue down the right field line, down to the wall. As this is second deepest part of the park at 61 feet and this is just a makeshift foul pole because this bush does get in the way to see if we have a home run or not so a uh, good addition there we just recently made and as we go down the right field wall you see all of our wall is made out of string which is very sturdy and durable and easy to find and put together you just have to have two things and Right center field is 59 feet, and but as you see, before we go to center, the higher up the wall gets, and it gets to 60 feet right here. And our rules basically are: you have to carry the bush for a home run, and off the bush is a triple, and under is a double. And what we call this is the center field gardens. Kind of got a garden thing going over here. We go down left center. Deepest part of the park as it's 65 feet right here. Except using the string, got a chair to tie it up. And now, which this is the real hitters part of the park, which is down the right field line, is 48 feet. And again, it's, you see, we have white string and red string. It really doesn't matter as long as you're having fun playing and have the appropriate wall and bases. And another recently added addition. This height does not mark how high it is. As you see, probably about eight feet up there is how tall the string is. This is just an indication to see if the ball is fair or foul. And again, just a piece of bamboo. 
So that's about it here. Um, so tell us what you think in the comments below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to get more wiffle ball videos like this. We'll try to um, update you on the wiffle ball more than we did the uh, mini hockey. Is kind of had trouble with that, but it's a lot easier to film wiffle ball games than it is mini hockey. So we'll keep you updated.